The Black Lives Matter highlighted so many important questions. To me personally, why there is so much hatred? Why are we denying that there is so much hatred? Why do we incite you know, hatred from one type of people to another? I'm 100% sure you have seen this video as went viral where two innocent toddler, one is white, one is black, friend, see each other so excited to see each other running toward each other and then, you know, hugging each other. And the sad thing about it is that now, the same video, some, somebody twist it around and make it inciting racism, inciting hatred from that beautiful, nice video of what is human being is to something which incite hatred. And Donald Trump decided to share it. I'm Kolbasia Hausu and you know, welcome to my channel. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe so don't, don't miss the important motivational, inspirational video that I put out. It get me thinking, what, what is our responsibilities? What is our role, you know, to address this issue of race, of hatred, discrimination, oppression, whatever that may be, you can call it. I think for me, hatred is not lack of love is not like you when you don't love somebody you hate them i think for me hatred is based on based on lack of compassion from one individual to another individual for you to understand or for you to combat your hatred just for a moment try to be that person if you are confronted with the person and then you feel that kind of anger toward that person you feel that disgust through that person and you want you want to insult insult the person you want to tell you know hard things to to hurt the feeling of that person just for a moment imagine that the person is you and the other person that you that feeling those anger imagine that you have those like a balloon of all those things that you want to end, then you throw to that person, and that person is you. Imagine what is that feeling that they will create to you. Imagine that. And when you imagine that, would you accept that the other person should do that to you? The other person make you feel that way? Would you accept that? And if you feel that is no right, so stop right there. Don't try to do to others the thing that you don't want to be done to you. You cannot like somebody. You cannot love somebody. But you don't need to engage with the person or with the group of people if you don't like or you don't love them. You can stay away from them and let them be who they want to be or live the life that they want to live. If you are a white person being racist to a, a black person, what you doing is asking also the black person to hate another white person. Or if you are a black person and hating a white person, what you're doing is for that white person to hate another black person. It could not happen to you, but it could happen to another person. So every action that we take has a consequences. And that consequences is other people, other innocent people that you know facing those consequences. It may not be you, it may not be somebody close to you, but it may be somebody far from you that you may even don't know that will take the full force of that action that you have put. 
But you know, the biggest challenge that we're facing now, the free speech and also the reach that the social media have nowadays. Play in one way in the situation where we find ourselves, which somebody who has millions of followers can take a fake video that incite racism, incite hatred, share it out to a million of those people. And those million of those people take it and then also share it with, imagine one person share it with another person that we're talking about 160 million, right? And if the other person take it and then share it, and you see the exponential growth of that number of reach that, that one person take it and then share it and, and then, and that incite communities to act. And when I'm talking about the racism, I'm not saying that racism is just coming from white people. Racism is coming also from black people. But the difference is that if you find in yourself where you are a minority, the impact of that action or racism can completely destroy a way of life, can destroy a cohesion in communities, can create hatred and anger in people, can push people into action that otherwise they shouldn't take, can discriminate people, can give privilege and advantage to one group over another group where society not equal. And that is the thing that we need to fight against. We need to be living in a society, in a, com com in a community where we need to be cohesive. We need to look after each other. We need to be the guardian of my brother or my sister. And if we're able to do that, then we'll be able to live harmoniously with each other. And, you know, to finish off, I say that you are responsible of your actions and also you are responsible to make the society a better society. And just don't close your eyes, don't close your ears, and don't close your mouth. When you see something, when you hear something, use your voice. Stand against anything that divides us and always bring something that unites us, that make us live a peaceful life, make us live in harmonious communities, make us live without fear of each other, make us love each other, make us be compassionate and remove hatred from all of us. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. For me, it's always love and may God bless you and peace and see you next. Bye for now.